With this, we have this integral secret x over cosine x. And before we start solving too deeply, we should first think about how we can rewrite some of the stuff inside the argument in order for this thing to become more solvable and maybe become a lot easier to uh, get the result for. So we can replace secret x by one over cosine x because there's this identity that secret x is equal to one over cosine x. And by the way, the definition of secant. And so we can both replace secant x by one over cosine x, or we can replace cosine x by one over secant x. Uh, it doesn't matter which one you choose, but I, in my case, will choose uh, to replace secant. So it's the same as saying one over cosine x, that's the secant, times one over the denominator we won't change, and dx. So this thing is the same as 1 over cosine squared x and 1 over cosine squared x well this is secant x and this is secant x this is secant squared x so we can write all this stuff as secant squared x dx and now we know this property that derivative of tangent x is secant squared x and therefore we know what the integral of this is going to be right is the reverse process so we know that our result will be tangent x plus a constant because the rule says the derivative of tangent is secant squared and the integral of secant squared is tangent first of all we were given this we were able to rewrite it in certain ways get this thing that's a lot more legible right and then we could integrate it that's it.